Last week, may nag-request sa atin na mag-present naman daw tayo ng mga exotic species, no? Although 80% of uh, the animals that are being brought in the clinic are dogs and cats, some 20% of them are composed of uh, hamsters, uh, guinea pigs, reptiles, rabbits, and hedgehogs, no? And kung ano-ano pa. And of course, birds. So yung case natin today, isang ibon na nakalunok ng kanyang feeding tube. Foreign body ingestion in a bird. If you like taking care of birds, stay tuned because that's coming up next. Welcome back guys! If you just tuned in, my name is Doc Ford Sresho. I'm an animal doctor and every week we post videos of topics and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. But this time, yun namang feathery friends ang topic natin ngayon. So may nagdala sa atin ng ibon. It's actually a 3-month-old blue gold Macau o Mako. Sabi nga ng boss ko dati, Mako. Ang suspecha niya, nakalunok daw ito. O nanunun daw nito yung feeding tube na bin, uh, ginagamit nila sa pagpapakain sa kanya. So they're very worried. If just so happens na yung, yung dinala nila ay gabi na. Gabi na, pasarado na kami and maabutan tayo na curfew and it's COVID times. And they, ayaw naman nilang iwanan yung bird doon sa atin. Uh, because they're, they're kind of scared no? of what will happen or baka ilabas naman daw nila. So... Ibabalik na lang daw nila tomorrow morning. And the following day, first thing in the morning, naandun na nga sila. Because yung ibon daw nila, hindi na kumakain. Nagsuka na nagsuka. So lahat ng mga pagkain na uh, binibigay sa kanya, sinusuka na niya. So ano nangyari po dito sa so, uh, bird natin? So accidentally, naka, nasualo niya yung, ano, yung host ng syringe. Okay. Ano to? Uh, Chinutube feed nyo? Yes. So. Uh, Gano'ng kadalas nyo po pinakakain? So, three to four times a day. Aha. Uh -huh. And then, kailan nyo po napansin yung ano? Yung uh, tube? Uh, na nawala? Yes. Uh, yesterday afternoon, yung last na pakain, uh -huh. doon na, hindi na, hindi na niya niluwa yung ano, yung tube. Ayun. Alright. So, kahapon, dinala siya dito, na pag pa ano? Yes. But, uh, you were closing, and then you, <laughs> lumubog na rin yung tube. So sabi ko bumalik sila today and think about whether they want to have it removed, no? So hey, it's you. Yes, we're talking about you. We're talking about you. Okay. So yeah, sir. Surgical sir. removal. We will remove it surgically. Aware naman tayo sa risk involved. The recovery of the foreign body CC, but the recovery of the animal, yun yung questionable, ha? So sana kaya niya po, no? I did some radiographs and found out that that elongated tube na sinasabi nila na ginamit nila sa pagpapakain sa tube feeding is actually there in the lining of uh, the proventiculus no kitang kita natin do sa x-ray no do sa kaya papuntan doon sa may stomach niya yeah it's like a tube exactly what the description was of the owner no? normally kapag may foreign body it usually stays here dito sa kanilang crop yung crop is actually a muscular area it's like a pouch like muscular area which is also a part of the esophagus ng ibon kung papansin niyo pag ginawa kanya yung dibdib ng ibon parang medyo malambot dito so that's where they temporarily store their food kung may mga foreign objects usually diyan nakikita however after an extended period of time yung mga pagkain eventually goes into the stomach the true stomach the proventriculus doon nila ito uh, ida-digest, no? So kapag may na-trap doon na foreign body doon sa daanan mismo ng pagkain, hindi siya makakakain. And eventually, will die of that foreign object. Nagplano tayo, I, I presented them the case. Kinuusap ko yung mga ari, sinabi ko sa kanila kung ano yung, yung plano ko, uh, the surgical procedure that I will do. Pwede mong kuhanin ng mga yan using a long forceps from the mouth, kukuhanin palabas, no? Or you can sedate them and get the foreign object out. However, kapag yung foreign object pumunta na sa mas mababang parte ng kanyang gastrointestinal tract, it will be more difficult and challenging for the veterinarian. There are two ways 
to actually get it from the crop and this in gluviotomy you incise the crop and then get get it from there or doon ka mismo sa abdomen dito sa abdomen maghihiwa at doon mo kukuhanin no yung pangalawa is a little bit more invasive riskier and yung healing time or yung downtime is longer but since ito na yung case natin wala na tayong option but to go through the abdomen through the proventriculus Nakuha na natin yung tube It's a tube, it's a foreign body uh, So we had to make two openings Yung isa dun sa ilalim para i-push pa upwards Because it's easier to open it Dun sa mesophagus Okay? Swerte na lang natin at yung foreign object na Nalulun nitong si Kamir Is an elongated tube I was able to push it up Get it collected from the proventiculus Make a small incision at nakuha natin kaagad yung foreign body. Medyo mahaba yung nakuha natin na tube, no? It's a silicone tube that yung feeders usually put on the tip of the syringes at ayun yung ginagamit nila para uh, to imitate yung nanay na ibon sa pagbigay ng pagkain sa kanya. Young birds are usually reared uh, by hand feeding. Kung masyado pa silang bata, nakaasa talaga sila sa tao para uh, para mabuhay, para sila makakain, no? Ang foreign body ingestion is actually very common among young birds. In fact, the last three or four months, may apat na cases ako na foreign object uh, recovery from a, from young birds, no? Uh, kasi nga, yun yung ginagamit nila. Eh, kung hindi marunong masyado yung nagpapakain, nakalulunok pati nung ibon yung yung feeding tube as they grow older they become more aggressive in getting the food no so nalulunok nila and minsan hindi na natin mahabol yung foreign body na yon yung tube na yon papunta doon sa kanyang crop no so they usually go to the vet to have it removed paano nga ba natin malalaman kung yung alaga yung ibon has actually ingested a foreign object no Common yan sa mga batang ibon, no? Pwede rin yung mangyari sa adult birds. Usually, yung mga shiny objects yung kinukuha nila, yung mga wires, yung mga screws and bolts, kasi ito yung mga makikinang. Very attractive, nakukuha yung attention nila. Initially, they would want to play with it, they would swallow it, and uh, eventually it ends up in their stomach. Ano nga ba yung signs na ang yung, yung birds, yung alagang ibon ay naka, may foreign body or may foreign object na nalunon? First, syempre sumasakit yung tiyan niya. It will, it will perch forward. Parang, parang hindi tama yung, hindi normal yung kanyang pag-perch. It will perch itself, uh, naka-perch yung body niya forward. Pangalawa, inom ng inom ng tubig yung ibon. Pangatlo, yung feathers niya eventually becomes fluffed kasi masama yung pakiramdam niya, stress out. Pag may mga ganitong signs yung alaga niya yung ibon, bring them to the veterinarian and have them checked. And eventually, hindi na rin sila kakain. Kung kakain man sila, sometimes sinusuka nila, nire-regurgitate nila. Especially kung may complete obstruction sa kanilang GAT. So, kung may ganitong mga signs, yung alaga niya yung ibon, bring them to the veterinarian. Your vet will normally do a, a radiographic examination or ultrasound or endoscopy kung, kung meron, no? Para makita kung may mga foreign body or foreign objects there that they can easily take up. No? Kung hindi, kailangan kuhanin surgically or with the use of anesthesia. Ito na siya two days after surgery, no? Yung sugat niya, ha? Ayun, 
wala na eh. So, hindi mo na mapansin, oh. Ayo, mejo swallet, bat sarado na. Okay, uli kami on. Nagbabalik na lang dito after mga 10 days. Uwi na siya ngayon, nasa babalik na lang after mga 10 days para tanggalin natin yun. Alright. Yes. Okay, so. Ang takeout lang natin ito, hindi lang mga alagang aso at pusa natin ang pwede magkaroon ng foreign body ingestion. Kung may alaga tayong mga ibon, kailangan tayo maging um, aware sa mga items na ilalagay natin sa cage nila. Gumamit tayo ng mga feeding tube na hindi basta natatanggal at napupunit yung matibay. At maging papanuri tayo sa mga signs na binibigay nila para Maaga pa lang, mabigyan na natin ng tamang lunas. So, as always, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'm Dr. Fresho, and see you again next week.